Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. We're doing your tarot after dark. If you are new to this channel and you're not familiar familiar with tarot after dark, these are readings done in the dark. This is originally made by us here at Eat Read Love. It explores the darker side of a relationship. Now, if your relationship is rainbows and butterflies and you have no question and you have no doubts about your partner, then this reading is not for you. We go to the dark in this reading. So that way, we can see the light. The reading is triggering and is not meant for everyone. Now, if you choose to stay, then let's begin. You have a loving union. You have a two of cups. Just sucks that they cheated on you. Mm -hmm. I go there. I go there where nobody wants to go. You understand me? Loving union, but they cheated on you. Because they left you here. You guys have your child. You guys have a family. You were invested. Took away everything from you. Even the feeling of hope, they've took away. The part where you believe in love, they took away. Remember when they tell you all the nice things so that you will fall in love with them? Remember the promises, Seven of Cups, that they keep telling you that, oh, of course, you're the only one that I love. Of course, you're the only one that I care. No one else. Wondering eyes. When did they leave you? When did they stop talking to you? Is that the reason why you're here? Because you want an explanation? Or they probably have texted you, Page of Pentacles, very recent. That made you confused. That made you question, what do I do? Because I still have feelings for them. I still want to be with them. What do I do? I still feel the connection. It feels like a it feels like a person feels very very much in love with you. It feels like it. I see it. I see that your person is still trying to connect with you. Oh, there it is. The Two of Swords. Doesn't go far when you have the Seven of Cups. Two of Swords is there. The Wandering Eyes again. That has caused you so much pain. And yet you miss them. Four of Cups. And yet. You're banking that. There can be another chance between the two of you. You feel empty, but you feel they're coming back. Because why? 
because I'm a loving person. This is what you're telling yourself here with the Queen of Cups. You feel that, no, they will. They will. They'll come back. They'll come back. This is what you're saying. Oh, they were back. But they left again. Oh, and there it is again. They're claiming that they've changed. They did some thinking. And they're now they're aware of what happened. Hermit. What it feels like is, is you need to be thinking before you give this person a chance. I mean, they're coming in as a king of wands though, but you know, you very much know here that the two of pentacles, like your person right here, has been in and out of this connection. Mm -hmm. You tried to walk away, but they keep chasing ever since that time that they have cheated on you. Ever since that you have caught them, you had this person in the wraps. Because you've got a taste of freedom right there. You know now that every time you walk away, since you studied this person like a book and you've mastered yourself now, and that you're at peace with yourself, you know how to work this person. You're aware now that this person likes a chase. But how long are you going to do this chase? That's my question. How long? How long will you keep up with this? You don't know? But you want to put the pressure into this already and just call it judgment, death card, but you'll be lying to yourself if you tell me that you have lost hope, because clearly you do. You just want to make a man out of whoever this person is. You want him to step up. You want him to change. Because you haven't lost hope. You haven't given up. Even though, again, okay? Wandering Eyes over here has betrayed this love that they claim that you are the only one. Even though that they betrayed you. You're still here with a star card. That's where you're at. Oh, interesting. The universe has a very funny way. Ten of Swords. I wonder what, that is, what this is, though. Because we know what it means. Something's ending. Something's about to start. And you know it. Ten of Swords, a painful situation ends and something new begins. Now the question is, is this about separation or is it the ending of all the pain that you've experienced from your person? Link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.